Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is going to be the first episode of the moving series that I'm starting. Um, I have decided to move back home to New York. Um, if you don't know, I currently live in Louisville, Kentucky. As I have gone to the University of Louisville for the last four years for college and now that I graduated, I was going to stay here, but there have been some family circumstances that have pretty much required me to go home. So I am going to be moving in about a month and some change. So I need to start getting ready to move. I haven't moved, like, when I moved down here, I first only brought certain clothes because it was the summer. And then um, whenever I moved into my dorm room was when my parents brought some of my extra stuff down. And then during COVID, I brought some more stuff down whenever I moved into this apartment. So I've lived in this room, this apartment for two years. And then I lived across the, the hall for a year before that. Um, and then my freshman year, I lived in the dorms. So when I wasn't in the dorms, I was either at my dad's house, which is still true, I'm either at my dad's house or here when I'm down here, or like, with that being said, I have gone through um, all of my clothes and I've kind of put it into gonna try to sell versus donating. So over there, I have a trash bag full of stuff I'm donating and back here, I have some bags full of stuff I'm donating, but in this box right here, I have some clothes that I think would do okay if I sold them. So. But the reason I have scissors in my hand is that I'm about to go through and kind of show you guys the ones that I am going to try to sell. And I'm going to cut out all the date tags in them because if you know, when you take them to Play-Dohs, that is like the first thing they check for. And if it's over two years, they like don't even second glance at it, even if it's decent. So that's what I'm about to do because, yeah, and I figured it would be kind of, oops, it would be kind of cool to show you guys like the items that I hope would sell. Um, so first off, I have these balance shorts. Alright, that is everything. Um, let me just see if I can just pick it all up and put it all in here. That is a lot of clothes. Um, I did get a good amount of date tags out, so hopefully, you know, oh my god, all the cat hair falling everywhere. That's embarrassing. Okay, so I am going to bring all this stuff down and um, probably go over to Plato's Closet and then do all that, shop around, and then when, whatever they don't take out of this box, I'm going to put in a plastic bag because there's a Goodwill like right next door and take that and then I have obviously all my other bags to Goodwill. So I'm going to go do that. Um, if I vlog, I'm gonna do it on my phone, and yeah. Hey vlog. So it's like, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes later. Um, I'm now at the mall because I went to Plato's Closet and they had a sign on their door that said their internet was down and they couldn't do any buys while the internet was down. They didn't know how long it would take till it comes back up. So I just went to Goodwill and brought everything there because honestly, they were probably only gonna give me like 15, 20 bucks anyways. And at this point, I don't really care. I just want it all gone. So now I'm at Oxmoor, and I hope I don't buy anything. <laughs> but they have Lululemon here, and I just, I want another one of these shirts in a different color, maybe. It's the, like, waist length, and it's got the built-in bra, and I just love it. So, um, I'm going to go look around. I don't want to buy anything, but you never know. So, um, let's go. And I have about like four hours until my massage, which also happens to be in this area, but I'm gonna have to go home first because I still want to tan before I go. So, see you guys later. So, we are back from the mall. I showed you guys a little clip of me at the mall. I just um, got home, obviously I'm home, and I stopped and had Chick, or got, picked up Chick-fil-A to for lunch to eat here um it's currently 12 49 so i want to do this really quick so i can get outside because i really want to go tan for like an hour before my massage at three so um i'm gonna do this really quick i like i said uh player's closet wasn't taking buys or whatever 
So I just took everything to Goodwill, which was next door. So it, honestly, it was fine. Like, yeah, it would have been nice to like make some money, but I needed it all gone. And this area looks so much better now. So I'm just, I ended up going to the mall, like I said, and I did end up buying things. I spent a lot of money that I didn't need to spend, but it's okay. You only live once. So first place I went to, Bath and Body Works, because... Um, I didn't realize they were having their semi-annual sale right now, but they had 10.95 candles. And I love candles. Um, I do really love their candles, but I just love candles in general, so that's fine. Um, and then I also got some of the, um, what are they called, like, wallflower plugins. So, I'll show you guys those. First one is Pink Pineapple Sunrise. I got four. Waikiki Beach Coconut. I love this scent. It's so good. Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit and Island Margarita. You can't not tell by the names. I really like beachy scents. Um, and then I got three candles. The first one is White Gardenia and Tiki Beach. Oh, this just smells so good. This one is Island Papaya. Again, all beachy scents. I think this one might not be. Or maybe it is. It is. Island Margarita and Vanilla Bean. Oh, it just, I just love a good beachy scent. So, that is everything I got from Bath and Body Works. Um, next place I went was Lululemon, but I'm going to show you that last because I got a bunch of stuff there. Um, and then the only other place I went to was Sephora, so I'll show you guys that really quickly. I went there, where was I? When I was in Nashville, um, when I, the last time I went shopping. And I tried on this scent of the um, Sol de Janeiro Spray 68. This one is Brazilian Crush. Oh, it just smells so good. I couldn't stop thinking about it afterwards I left, and I can still smell it on my wrist. This is my third scent that I have right now. I have the old blue one. I don't know what number it is. That one is probably my favorite, and it looks like I'm not selling it anymore, which really makes me sad. So I have to find a new favorite that they will keep selling. And then I also have the new Rio Radiance one. That one smells super good. So this is my third one I have. Um... And the thing that, like, I really like about the Sol de Janeiro sprays is that you can smell them throughout the day. I find that a lot of other body sprays, like, you can't smell them not even maybe, like, an hour later after you spray it. Whereas these, you can smell them, if not the whole day, at least half. So, that is that. And then, lastly, I went to Lulu and spent entirely way too much money. And we're going to hope that my mom doesn't see this because she will probably yell at me legitimately um so the first thing i grabbed were these because they ended up they were on sale these are the hottie hot high rise four inch lined and they're in the super cute color um what's it called i don't know what color this is i'm gonna have to look them up um but these are my favorite shorts my favorite lulu running shorts which i guess they're probably <sighs> look at this Say hi, Dunk. <laughs> he just went in the box. Anyways, um, I guess these are my only running shorts that I have from there, but the 4-inch high-rise are just so good. I'm wearing the 4-inch low-rise, and it's size too big today. They are, I don't remember what the name of the color is. I'm going to have to do better at, like, knowing the names and colors. But I just got these ones, and then I also got them in the bubblegum I think it's called bubblegum pink um this is same size same fit and everything um just in this super bright pink color i have <laughs> he knocked the little cap down there you go here i'll take it out for you maybe he wants it on i don't know do you want it on no okay oh, oh okay he doesn't like that 
Anyways, um, I have a pair of spandex, like uh, align shorts, I think, the four inch ones. Um, I'm pretty sure I have them in this color. If not, it's, it's if it's not this exact color, it's like pretty similar. The next thing I got was this shirt, which is the longer version of the one I'm wearing right now. Um, this is the Ebb to Street tank, and I just got it in black. This is my first Lulu tank top um, that I've ever had, and I got this one, if you saw my last video in Nashville, or two videos ago. I can't remember. Last video, yes. I got this one in Nashville because um, it was on sale, and it was, this one's a size 10, so I got this one in an 8, and this one is the full length one, um, so I'm really excited about that because I have worn this now every time, like once a week. Like it's, I just washed it yesterday and I'm wearing it again, so I'm obsessed with it. I love that you don't have to wear a bra with it. It's super comfy, perfect. Um, and then the last thing I got were the super cute align shorts. These are the high rise short in six inches. Again, I don't know what the exact name of the color is, but it is so pretty, um, and I just am obsessed with it. So, that is everything that I just spent my money on this morning. Um, like I said, I'm about to change and then hopefully go lay out upstairs for, like, maybe an hour while the, the sun isn't, like, super bright today, but I looked earlier and it said that the, at one, which is in four minutes, the, um, I don't know where my phone is the UV rays are at like the highest it'll be all day so I'm gonna go do that and then come back and get ready for my massage hey guys so it is like probably like five hours later than the last time I recorded anything um like I said at the end of the last clip I went upstairs and tanned for a little bit it was like 95 degrees out today so i was only out there for like 30 minutes because i was sweating so bad it was embarrassing and then my dad called me and it was getting close to my massage time so came down took a shower laid in bed for like 20 minutes and then went and got a massage it's six o'clock now yeah it's six o'clock now um i was gonna go to my co-workers little her fiance's birthday party who I haven't met yet <laughs> like I'm feeling really tired and like I know that I should go because I'd never do anything but at the same point I also just want to like stay home and lay in bed <sighs> so I think I am just going to make some pizza rolls for dinner because I ate out, I had Chick-fil-A for lunch. So I don't want to eat out again, but I don't have a ton of food. Um, so, my massage was really awesome. I felt really nice. Um, the lady I had was awesome. I just went to Massage Envy. Oops. Um, so, yeah, I've just been reading. And honestly, I've been watching TikToks too. So, I think I'm going to make me some pizza rolls and then... Yeah, I don't know what else. But if I do anything else, I will show you guys. Also, look at how, like, clean my room looks without all of these bags and stuff here. Like, obviously this little section is uh, <laughs> kind of dirty. But the, the main part, look, like, this part looks so clean over here. I wanted to show you guys. My Duncan. Look at him. What are you doing? Are you cleaning yourself? Oops. Um, oh, I didn't show you guys my outfit today. Um, oh, the sun. Outfit of the day sponsored by Lululemon. Not really. I paid for all this. This is the shirt, like I said, that I got in Nashville. And then these I got, uh, I don't know, last year. Last fall, maybe. But, yeah. Hey, guys. So, it's currently <laughs> literally, like, 10 days later than the last thing you saw um so i'm sorry i'm really second at this but it's currently tuesday june 13th i believe and i just got home from work it's 5 45 and changed and i am cooking some ground beef to make some little nacho taco things um but I'm going to be doing some more moving stuff tonight, so I kind of wanted to get on here and show you guys. Um, 
because my plans have changed a little bit since the last time I talked to you. So I figured I would kind of sit down and tell you guys what's been going on and I guess my life recently because obviously there's been some updates. Um, so I'm going to let that sit for a second. Here's Duncan trying to get into the bag of nachos, naturally. Um, and then I also got some of his little scratch marks. I got some um, spackle stuff to put it all together. But anyways, um, so I don't know if I said this on here or not, but the main reason that I am moving home, Duncan, is because my grandma has cancer. Duncan! My grandma is sick and I would like to kind of be home to spend some time with her. Um, so that is the main reason that I'm moving home and stop! Can't even talk. Knock it off. You know better. Hey. Um, so as I was saying, basically that's the main reason I'm moving home and kind of the reason why I'm going home sooner than even I had originally planned. Um, so it's been kind of pretty hard and I don't know if I'm even going to post this part of it because the internet doesn't need to know every little detail about my life. Duncan! But wanted to update. Um, I'm going to be packing a little bit tonight, so I will vlog that as well, but I'm going to finish making dinner. I don't even know what the last thing I recorded was, but it's June 21st. I just got home from Target. I went to Starbucks. I got home. And then my entire Starbucks spilled on, spilled on the ground. I just cleaned it up, but you can see where it's all wet. So I was going to show you guys all the random stuff I just picked up, but my coffee spilled. So now make myself more coffee um but anyways i'm just gonna show you guys what i just picked up from target um because i move in a week oh a week and a half i move on the first um and i know i was gonna record myself packing and stuff so i need to do more packing i might do that this weekend but anyways i just got home um so I'm gonna do a little Target haul. Paper towels, which I am glad I didn't use them to clean that up because um, we need them. And then I just got a small pack of toilet paper because I only have one roll left and I'm here for another week and a half. Um, milk. And a bottle of wine. Because Barefoot Fruit Scato Peach is so good. It's like the only wine I'll drink. Um, and I finished my last bottle the other day. So. Then in this bag, I got Maybe Someday, which is a Colleen Hoover book. I got yogurt. I got one Olipop Classic Root Beer because I, I hear so many people talking about this and saying that's really good. So I got one. So that I can try it. Toothbrushes, toothpaste, just because I'm running out of both of those. Well, I'm not running out of the toothbrush, but I like to change them every two months. Then I got the cilantro avocado salad kit and Santa Fe style salad kit. This one I know is good because I've had it before. Um, I got more cat treats for Duncan. A whipped cream cheese because mine is like pretty much gone. And then last thing, 
some apples because I love Honeycrisp apples. And yesterday one of my coworkers was complaining about like the price of apples and <laughs> I was literally like, I don't look at the price when I buy them. I just like pick them up and buy them. So um, with that being said, everything that I just showed you came out to be $77.16. So I don't know if that's expensive. I mean, I, I bought a bottle of wine and the book was expensive, but like other than that, everything wasn't super horrible. So anyways, I'm going to put all this away and then I need to work a little bit today. So I'm going to do that. And yeah. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, it's about 6 p.m. I just got home from work about like an hour ago. I ate dinner. I just had a ham and cheese sandwich. But I got my package from Sephora and I wanted to show you guys what I got. So, dang it, I can't. So the first, so I got um, some samples. The first sample I got was the Rare Beauty Positive Light Under Eye Brightener. Looks like this. Um, probably gonna try, maybe try it tomorrow, I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then I also got this Tom Ford, like, perfume, and it, it's kind of on my hands still, and I didn't really know what I was clicking on, I just saw, like, perfume, and I was like, oh, I'll try it. It smells really bad. It kind of smells like an old lady. Um, so I figured I would just tell you guys, I don't know what it's called, um, but it just smells really bad, so... If anyone was wondering, I had to wash my hands, but I can still smell it on there. Like, I just, I don't like the way it smells. Um, anyways, the reason I ordered from Sephora was for this little guy. This is the Grande Brow Brow Enhancing Serum. In case you can't tell, I have little to no eyebrows. And I have been using the Lash Enhancing Serum, which is the Grande Lash. I've been using this stuff for probably maybe almost a month now. And it's actually worked really well. I saw some other people on TikTok like had some really bad reactions to it. Um, but I really liked this stuff. So I decided to try the brow because if the, the lashes one worked, then maybe the brown one brow one will work. So um, I kind of, you kind of can't see it, but I had lashes where that were missing down here um, from Cheer. Um, actually at Daytona, I got my lashes ripped out during the pyramid day two. Um, anyways, that's like not that big of a deal, but I just got like a chunk of them was like ripped out from my bottom lash line. So I was like, Oh, what a perfect way to like test this out, really see if it works. Um, so I tried the grande lash, um, and I just have the little one. I don't have the full size and it's already grown back. Like if you can see, I kind of have some like <laughs> makeup underneath, but they're, they're all there, like fully the same length. Um, and I've been putting it on my top lashes too. I don't see like a super crazy difference in them oh my mom's calling i'll be right back be right back hey guys so okay just had to make sure it's recording so um it is currently sunday afternoon at like 5 p.m um i have actually gotten a lot done so i kind of wanted to go through and show you guys what i did one of my friends from high school came over this weekend and helped me and it's just been like super super helpful um we got a lot done today or yesterday um, so I was gonna show you guys everything that I have done so far here's little baby dunk eating some food so all the stuff that's on this counter like or on the stove right now is like stuff that I think I'm gonna use um because I am leaving a week from yesterday so I'm here for six more days anyways so like obviously still have to pack that this stuff once I'm done with it um, and then like Keurig air fryer that stuff once it's done but um, this is like the stuff that was in the dishwasher that I'll probably use this week. Um, this is my side, which is pretty empty. That's my roommate's stuff, um, which that's also my roommate's. And then this, this is like, I have one more box of like random stuff I'm going to get. So that's what this is. That is not mine. Obviously, I just said this earlier. Um, I tried to empty this, but we have Duncan's treats, a pair of scissors, and a roller left. The rest of this is like stuff that came with the apartment. This I haven't cleaned out yet because obviously I drink coffee every day and I have been drinking some wine even though I finished the bottle. 
Um, but yeah, this one, it had, that's, those are my roommate straws. And then this one should be empty as well. I, ooh, I haven't cleaned out under here yet just because I anticipate I'll probably clean a little bit more um, before, you know, we leave. This is empty. This is empty. Oh, except for these scrubbies. I forgot about these. I'll put them right here. Get, 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 get. Um, this one just has like pans and if I need to make pasta or anything, that's what's left in there. Just because I'm here for another couple of days. Um, this still has food in it. And then this still has food in it as well. Just because obviously... Um, this is still full, obviously, for, you know, utensils and stuff. And then this one's empty. The fridge and the freezer are still full of stuff. But this is the biggest part that we've done so far. Um, got a lot of stuff packed up. Pretty much everything over here I'm taking with me. Except for, like, this TV stand because that's came with it. But everything over here other than that and this coffee table... I'll be taking um, I'm gonna get rid of this rug and I'm probably also going to get rid of Duncan's little thing under there um, but yeah so these are still open just because they have some space left in them but all the other ones that are like shut taped shut those are all full so we have six boxes plus this is my work monitor a shoe rack and then there's three more boxes right there I have a bunch of empty boxes still and then like all that stuff um, I don't know, I can't remember if I showed you guys the laundry room or not, but I actually am about to get a load of laundry ready. Um, but it is very, very, very empty in here now, and it definitely was not like that before. Um, so obviously only the essentials are left, so, and the cleaning supplies. I guess I'll leave it open since someone came in here. Um, so that is pretty much it for like the kitchen area, and then... My bedroom, I think I showed you guys that I emptied this the other day, probably. I emptied that, that's been emptied. I got a new pair of jeans, I'll show you guys that in a second. And then under my bed, we just have two boxes, or three boxes. I have this big one, I don't know if you can really see it, but that has all my Christmas stuff in it. And then my suitcase, I have this box right here, and then just some random stuff um, left. And then in the bathroom, um, honestly, the, the, all of these drawers are empty, so everything on the counter is, like, stuff that I probably will use until then. Um, and I haven't done any of my clothes because most of it is on hangers, so the plan is to just put them in trash bags. But these little baskets with stuff in them, I will put in a box. Um, there's my other suitcase, shoes I'm gonna wear, and this is a box of, like, miscellaneous stuff, but... Yeah, that's pretty much like everything that I, that we got done, which is a lot more than what I had done before. Oh, that's kind of embarrassing. Anyway, it's really hot out, um, and there is actually a tornado warning today, um, so I probably will not be going anywhere. It starts at 6 p.m., so it's an, in an hour. Um, so I'm going to stay my my happy butt in this apartment. Like I said, I have some laundry to do. Um, I might work out later and read my book because, yeah, what else do I have to do? I'm not, I might pack some of the hanging stuff up since I know that I won't be wearing most of it, but for the most part, it's going to be on hangers anyways, so I don't really need to do a ton with that just before my dad gets here on Friday. So, okay, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, I guess I'll show you guys the jeans I bought real quick since again so I went to Kohl's and I was looking at the sale rack and they had they had these what are they called low rise dad jeans I am not a low rise girly but these were only $17.60 for some jeans um, and they have rips in the knees, and they're just like straight leg all the way down. Um, and they fit me really nicely, so that's why I got them. And I actually have got, I actually just got rid of my other straight leg, like, or like mom jean. I think they were the American Eagle ones. 
So I just got rid of those ones with rips in them because they were like a size too small. So I got these ones instead. So yeah, that's all. Um, I'm gonna go lay down because it's really hot out and my car doesn't have AC and I'm sweating still and I've been home for like 30 minutes. So yeah, see you guys later. Okay, so I'm not really sure what the last thing I recorded was because it's literally like the more than two weeks later but thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big like and comment down below and yeah i'll see you in the next video Stink. Come here, big boy.